We're here today with Amaya Amaya to talk a little bit about one of the new features in QuickBooks 2011. Amaya, could you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your small business background? Sure. Um, as Michelle said, my name is Amaya Amaya and I'm a small business owner. I've been in business a little over a year. Uh, I currently do not have employees, but I do use subcontractors on a regular basis. Um, there's two aspects to the business. One is that we provide virtual assistance to small to medium businesses, executives and entrepreneurs. And the other side is a side where we provide leadership on demand, workshops, training, um, organizational effectiveness assessments. Wow, I'm impressed. So what feature are you going to tell us about? I'm going to talk about batch invoicing today. Um, I was very excited when I saw batch invoicing come out, uh, specifically for my workshops. If I have a workshop with 20 to 30 people, I have had to invoice each person separately. Uh, and that does take time. So with batch invoicing, I'll be able to create one invoice, add in all of their email addresses, and send it off. And so that will save me a lot of time, um, potential mistakes. I'm very excited about that. All right. So it sounds like this is a great feature for you. It is. The best part about the feature is really being consistent in your invoicing, um, being able to have invoicing that happens on a monthly, on a regular basis, where you are continuously sending the same invoices and you're not having to recreate them every time. Um, allows you to create an invoice that really works and continue to use it. And as a small business owner, every minute helps. Let's take a look at the feature. Okay. Batch invoicing allows you to create a single invoice for multiple customers, reducing the time and effort you spend. It is the perfect solution for businesses that invoice groups of customers regularly for the same goods and services. Any business with regular membership fees, commercial or residential rent, or monthly retainer plans will save time and reduce errors by using this feature. To access the batch invoicing functionality, select Create Batch Invoices from the Customer menu. Batch invoicing uses individual customer information such as terms, sales tax, and email address to create and transmit the invoices. Be sure that all of this information is correct and complete before creating batch invoices. You cannot edit this information during the batch invoicing process. Once in the tool, you can create a new billing group, lawn care for example. Then select customers from the default customer list or search for specific criteria to locate customers then add them to the group. Save the group to reuse it again. Click the next button to create the invoice for this group. First select the invoice date and template. Add an item or items. Select a customer message if applicable. The message will be the same for all customers receiving this invoice. Click Next to review the list of customers to be invoiced. Just like any memorized transaction, the batch invoices should be reviewed prior to being created. You can uncheck any invoice that you do not wish to create now or that was created in error. Click the Create Invoices button. You will see the invoices set to be printed those that will be sent via email, and any that are not currently marked and will need to be sent later. Unmarked invoices usually appear due to key information such as an email or physical address or send preference missing from the customer record. Click the print button and or email to review and process the selected forms. Click close to complete the batch invoicing process. Any invoices not printed or emailed must be handled separately later. You can open the created invoices to review, print, or send them at any time. Note that batch invoicing does not create memorized transactions and cannot be set for automatic creation.